Hi, this is Military, Military Model of Paul with a quick update on my HE162, the Tamiya Kit in 148 scale. It is actually gradually getting there, <clears throat> but uh, you cannot see too much, much difference. But I've actually done a lot of detail work and painting and spraying and bits and pieces. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is uh, bring it down to the bench and you see how far I've got. So, see you in a couple of seconds. Well, here we go. As you can see, that's the undercarriage bay, actually, with the actual. Uh, stick actually painted i'm going to do a bit of dry brushing on that later on but you can see i've got the clear part is actually goes whoops let's get down here the clear part is there as you can see shining away so that's quite nice and i've sprayed the other side because you can actually see through uh, the undercarriage wheel well so that's okay and the wheel well i'm presuming the clear part is not for anything else other than to make sure that the undercarriage comes up and sitting in the bay so they actually know the undercarriage has come up so i'm just presuming that's what it is let's put this back on the middle so that's that part that's been done <clears throat> so that's nice so i'll move that out over to there uh, the engine now i've just put in a starting to put a bit more detail on it as you can see because i actually lost some of it i'm going to take this out of fraction oh wrong way there you go i think that's better and so and i've also got to rescribe across here because i've cleaned it up look too nice and it's got to be rescribed uh, so that i can actually get a, a join there because these two part, parts open up so they need to do that but that's okay also I, i've got a little bit quite a bit of photo expert in and now the actual bits in the copy you can see there are not glued into place and they're just in there temporarily and if i come the other side you can see that, that that's what it is and the light's not too clever is it and there, there it is got a few, uh, some of the, the um, PE uh, bit panel bits and bit pieces there um, obviously that'd be closed off that bit there is just sitting there that was just a tile fit once it's all squashed together it's become a bit loose but uh, it does fit really nice that part but I think you can actually see now and um, it's coming along nicely in there <coughs> Now in this this part here, I don't really need to take them out, but uh, I almost probably really will. There's the undercarriage now has been sprayed, so that's okay. Um, got a bit of detail painter to do, so, so I'm happy with that, and that fits in quite nicely. And it's got to be a really tight fit, so that's that bit. So I'll put that out of the way. Um, the next bit is the tyres. And there they are. I think you can see they've, they've come up really nice. So that's quite good. And also the leg now has got the wheel in. Now anyone who's building this, you can actually build the undercarriage leg up and then spray it. And then you can put the wheel in, it just pulls apart slightly so you can get, get the wheel in place. So that's quite nice, it's done. So there you go. That's that bit done. So I'll put them over the way. And then the next part we've got is this part, which I think is now done. If I, I might be able to do this. That's it. And there it is. All done in its place. I've got to repaint the, the belts, the actual straps, I'm sorry, in a, in a light brown colour. So so it actually is like it and a bit of silver on the buckle. So that should look quite nice. But I think you can see that it's quite, come out quite nicely. And that's using um, micro, micro crystal clear to glue the parts in i did set a uh, use a file underneath to scratch the the pe part so you've got a bit of something to bite on but it does really work out right now so that's been done and i don't get that out but that's me little area for the top of the motor so that's still there then i've uh, sprayed sprayed these parts the same inside color that's the inside you most probably won't see that but uh, i've got to do this side with the, the color of the fuselage once it's done sorry there you go let's pull it out a bit more yeah so that's quite nice that's that's coming out um both doors are only show one but there's one it's had the inside done i haven't done the outside that but will we spray these separate and then fit fitting them at the end so that should be okay i'll move the other one and inside this box uh, which is another box I've had these ready to do. There's the tail plane. Nice fit, goes through, and I've also got the wings done. And they fit quite nice as well. So, so that's those bits there. 
Um, obviously you know that bit's been done because you've seen that before so that's there so really everything's coming along quite nicely if I just pull that there and bring this over everything's coming out quite nicely so that would be the end of this update or oh, I'll put that back in there because I've got to put them all in the right place so it's going to all be put together now and slowly get ready for the actual priming stage and the glass going on as well. Now this is going to be a closed up engine, as you can see, uh, with the, the canopy open, so, so you can see the diesel. I've got a bit more to do inside the cockpit, uh, but I thought I'd better do a quick uh, update then. So I won't show you the next bit, you'll see what's done in the cockpit once it goes together again. Because I, I will, once it's together, I will show you what she looks like. The wheels, are these actual bits this side, on the wheel, really nice because they actually such a tight fit in there you don't have to glue and I didn't glue I just pushed them in place so yeah so they won't come out at all so that's the quick update I've got the seat belts to put on first because that's why this is just put together and I can get the seat out as well so that once that's done uh, we're getting there slowly so thank you very much for watching this one update and I'll catch you on the next one happy modeling